hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i thought i'd do a um full face of using molly o'brien brushes so this so it's just a cute molly o'brien brush bag so i did get 20 brushes brand new in the packet just testing them out for you guys seeing if they're worth the money yeah so just going to be using a full face of molly o'brien brushes today as usual, I'm just going to prep my skin, but I'm just going to be using my hands because I think that's the best way. I don't really use brushes to prep my skin, I just use my hands. So, to prep my skin, as usual, I'm going in with the Too Faced Pillow Cream. Just taking a small amount, I don't need too much. I want more makeup in like a couple of days, so. Yeah, it is really good just to give your skin a break sometimes, just to breathe. I'm going with the Iconic London Illuminated Drops in the shade Original. Um, I'm not going to apply this all over my face, I'm just going to apply it to wherever I want to highlight. I'm just going to take the Molly O'Brien M02 brush, it's just like a little small brush like this, just to blend it all in, just the high, the high points of my face really. Just to add a bit of glow. Oh, these brushes are so soft, these are really nice. I look crazy. <laughs> Just highlighted. Ooh, 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 ooh. I literally don't know why I put it all right there. Like my nose looks like a proper highlighted right now. For uh, foundation, I do like doing this a lot now. Um, I do go in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade medium, 35N medium, and I literally just apply this, just like. I act like it acts as like a base and it just covers like any like sp spots or discoloration or like just imperfections I guess yeah I quite like doing this lately just because it's not like full full coverage it just gives that coverage that you need okay so to blend that in I'm taking the 15 brush and it looks like this quite a dense brush but it's quite fluffy at the same time and I'm literally just patting away with that I literally when I get like brand new brushes I literally don't want to use them I just want to I just want to look at them <laughs> does anyone else find that they do that I just love doing that so yeah, I'm literally just patting it in and just pressing it into the skin. I find as well, like if you leave makeup off for like a couple of days, your skin just looks so much better when you do then put makeup on. It just looks lot so much nicer. It just looks really nice. First impressions of these brushes. They are really soft and they're doing the job properly. So they're blending in this concealer really well. If you can see there's not no like brush lines and it's just quite nice. Yeah, there's no brush lines, it's blending it in really nicely. Um, yeah, it's quite nice actually. I quite like it. This brush, they're really soft. Mm. Yeah, I hate when you get like brushes and they like fine brush hair that just digs into you. I hate it. I'm just gonna take a tiny bit more. Oh. I don't know, I just really like using like a concealer at the moment to like for foundation. It just Yeah, tart shaped tape concealer is just like the best. Like for foundation and concealer. I know it sounds weird, but it just it's not so heavy as like a foundation. But yeah, it's just really nice. I just quite like doing it. Just because it's like the weather's getting like well, I say it's getting hot, but it's not. It's like 12 degrees or like 10. <laughs> I find like whenever you live in England, you're like, oh my god, the sun's out. I don't know what to do. The sun's out. Oh. I wear makeup to get a suntan, to get a tan, or do I not wear makeup, or because you're not gonna get a tan, or do I wear summery clothes? 
or do I wear winter clothes? It's still like cold, but when you're in the sun, it feels like really nice and it's quite warm. Now for concealer, I'm just going to take the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. And I'm literally just going to place this under my eyes. Just literally a tiny bit. I don't want too, I don't want too much of full coverage today. Just literally, just literally a tiny amount. Well, I don't know, is it a tiny amount? In my last video on my channel, I was doing Instagram shoes in my makeup. I got a Doll Beauty highlighting like duo. And like, I was just like, like I don't know why I do it, but I just go like that. Sometimes just to like air, like dry my face after putting like um, a face setting spray, and basically, I'm not sure if you saw it or not. If you did watch that video, you would have saw it. Um, literally one pan, one of the pans come flying out onto the floor. I was crying. It was such a sad moment. I just. It's so horrible. I hate when I damage my makeup. It's just so horrible. That out, I am just gonna go in with the same foundation brush again, and I'm just gonna pat over it, just because I couldn't find like a smaller brush that I wanted to use. So I'm literally just patting it in. Oh my god, that's so nice. That's literally just blends that in so nicely look difference i love tarte shape tape concealer it's literally amazing yeah it literally is so nice and i'm literally just like taking it this way angling it this way and then just pressing it into the inner corner as well just where there's quite a lot of darkness there as well Oh my god, these brushes are so nice. Like, I didn't expect them to like blend in, blend so well. Well, Molly O'Brien brushes, they're amazing. Okay, now for cream bronzer, I am taking my e.l.f. concealer in the shade Deep Cinnamon. It's wherever I want to cream contour, well, cream bronzer really, to warm up. This just helps to warm up your face a lot more. I hate when you have like cream um, contour and it just really makes your face look dark and muddy. So I just like to, um, I like to use like a warm tone bronzer, liquid bronzer. Yeah, I do prefer that. Okay, so to blend out my cream bronze I just laid down, I'm going to take the Molly O'Brien MO6. Yeah, it's just like an angled brush and it's really fluffy. Just lightly going over that. I don't know why, but sometimes this product just dries down quite fast. So you've got to work with it quite fast. It annoys me so much. But we'll be going over with a foundation brush after just to blend it all nicely together okay so to blend that all in i am just gonna be taking i've already tried to blend it in a tiny bit <laughs> just this fluffy brush to blend all that in So it does look a bit dark but then again I am going to go back in with the foundation brush and then like just tap over it. You'll see now, so I'm just tapping over with the foundation brush I used, this brush I used. Take a bit more of this heart shaped tape concealer, just going to place it like around here. I'm just taking the brush I use to blend up my nose con contour and I'm just going to go over that and blend that concealer in as well. Like that. 
And then I'm just going to use this foundation brush and just patting over the sides. Just like that. And then going back in with the brush again. Because the excess product's still on the brush, so just going back in and just adding a tiny bit more product. So I'm just going to go back in with a bit of Iconic London Illuminator and I'm just going to highlight my face a tiny bit more. Just on the high points of my face here. Just a tiny bit there. Just to add a bit more glowiness. I've taken this brush and I'm just patting in. Okay, so I'm just taking the foundation brush again and I'm just going to be patting in any creases or anything like that. Just getting rid of any creases just before we go in with powder. Concealer tends to like sit in fine lines and stuff. Um, so it's just good to go back in with a sponge or a brush just to get rid of any creases just before you go in with powder. Powder, I'm just going to go in with my H&B Cosmetics powder in this shade translucent or this is my favourite powder ever like it's just such a nice powder and I've never been a powder fan before so yeah I do really recommend the H&B Cosmetics powder because it's just it is just so good it really is so to set my face with this powder I'm just going to go in with this brush right here it's quite a fluffy it's quite a fluffy brush this is the M16 brush and I'm just going to go lightly underneath my eyes and then just just above my eyes as well just on my eyelids oh this brush is so nice oh so nice and soft I'm just setting wherever I want to mattify. So far, I love the brushes and they just feel really good quality. Um, yeah, I really, really like these brushes so far. They're really nice. Okay, now for bronzer, I am just going to take my H&B Cosmetics bronzer in the shade Medium Golden. It's like this, this shade here. It's really, really bronzy and really nice. It's lo I love this bronzer so much. It is very, very pigmented. So you do have to tap off the excess, but by far the best bronzer I've ever tried. And I'm just going to go back in with the M06 brush. The angled one I did use for the cream bronzer. Because there's not much of the product on the brush. But yeah, I do. We're just, just going to go back in with this brush. Cause oh my god. I'm sorry, but these brushes have applied my makeup so nicely. Okay, so I'm just going to literally bake under my eyes and alongside my nose. The product's looking quite spressed out, like quite far out. So I'm just going to literally just snatch that nose on the sides of your nose. Like so. But I never used to use like a lot of powder. Like I wanted my, I don't like my face to be like too like dry and matte. Um, but this powder just feels so lightweight. It doesn't feel like you've got any powder on your face. Um, so yeah, that's why I do. That's why I do like to kind of like bake and stuff now, because it just doesn't feel heavy at all. I'm just going to dust this off now. My face is looking so, like, it's looking so flawless right now. Like, why is it looking so flawless? Am I even, am I even okay? My face, my skin's never looked this good before. I'm sorry, but... I think their brushes, their brushes have something to do with that. And leaving my makeup off for a couple of days. That's definitely got something to do with that. 
Right, okay, so now for blush, I am gonna go in with my favorite blush at the moment. I swear, like 2020 to 2021, everyone is going with blush, everyone loves it. Like never, when I was in school and stuff, I never used to put blush on. It was literally just foundation, that was it. No bronzer, no nothing. So yeah, I'm gonna take the Laura Geller uh, Bakes Blush and Brighten. This one here, and it looks like this. Okay, so for blush, I'm just going to go back in with the brush I use for my cream bronzer and the bronzer. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this. I do blend it into my contour just because it just it just blends nicely into that. It just and for eyes, I'm kind of wondering, I'm going between these two palettes. I don't know which one to pick. Yeah, I'm just going to go for the this palette here and this is the Jaclyn Hill palette volume 2 just like this okay so I'm gonna take the shade home body weird. yeah with the M14 brush just like this quite a flat synthetic brush like this I'm just gonna place it in the outer corner. Wow. I'm just gonna place it on the outer corner and it up through my crease. And I'm just passing it on at the moment. Okay, to blend that out, I'm taking the M19 brush, this fluffy brush here, and I'm gonna be taking the shade feeling myself here and then bit of um, positivity. Yeah, I'm just going to be blending on top of that. And I'm just blending that first shade out. So far, the eye brushes are really nice. They're blending out the eyeshadow really nicely. Just going back in with that first shade and just packing a tiny bit more of that on. And just wing it out a tiny bit, getting those other two shades and then just blending on top of that. Taking the other brush. I really did not want to use these brushes. I just wanted to keep them like brand new. I hate using new brushes. I just want always want them to be. I always want to keep them brand new. Yeah, so that blended out really easy with these two brushes I've got here. They blended out super super easy. They're super soft and they are really really. They're really, really nice eye brushes. Like, they blended that out like seamlessly, as you can see. Like, it just looks so nice. I like that. Yeah. Thumbs up to Molly O'Brien brushes. I had no doubt at all that they wouldn't be good because everyone like goes on about them all the time. Like, I always see them like everywhere. Like, they are such nice brushes. Like, they look so pretty as well. I've just loads of people use them like so many makeup artists use them and i just love them as well like i just had to get them and try them out for you guys just to see if they are actually worth the money and stuff because i think there's so many people that buy expensive things like expensive makeup and um, because it's so expensive or because they don't want to like like name and shame people and name name and shame like brands they always like give like fake reviews i find well, not fake reviews, but a lot of people don't like to give, don't like to show faults in makeup, like big brands and big makeup companies. But I think it's always important to like give your honest opinion because your viewers want to know your honest opinion about these products that you're like advertising basically for them. And like it's good just to give your honest opinion about them. If you don't like something, then say it, say it how it is. I always find that happens yeah so 
just give your honest opinion about something you know you don't have to lie about it but honestly these brushes are f so nice yes yeah, so i'm just doing literally the same as i've done on the other eye and i kind of like the winged out look kind of like winging my eyeshadow out just to give that cat eye effect see that was so easy to blend out like it's obviously the palette as well like the formula of the eyeshadows as well that are quite easy to blend out but like the brushes have such a big impact honestly I'm gonna take the shade homebody and I'm just gonna place it like all over the eyelid I kind of want like a smoky look today. Like when you do a smoky eye, it can look really dark and stuff underneath your eyes and look quite like, like you've been punched in the face really. I know it looks like I've been punched in the face right now, but just wait. I've literally just been walking around all day. I'm chilling, taking the dogs for a walk. It's a really nice day actually, it's been really quite a sunny day as well, it's really nice. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to leave it like that for now, I'm going to like use like a dark shade. I do want to deepen it up a tiny bit. I'm really going for like a weird look today. A really smoky look. I love a good smoky eye though. And you know what? I'm just going to bring it out here as well kind of like a brown smoky look now so I'm just going to take the Dare to be Different palette by H&B Cosmetics and I'm just going to take the shade Chocolate right here and I'm just going to blend on top of that black be laid down just to kind of like smoke it out a tiny bit I'm going to be like like concealing and stuff just to make it look a bit more sharper but this chocolate brown colour is just diffusing that black a tiny bit and just smoking out. And I'm just going to sharpen this up now because it looks a tiny bit messy. As you can see, it just looks a bit more sharper. Taking the same flat brush like this, it's the M09 brush. I am just gonna, gonna use the black again and literally just place this just underneath my waterline and just drag it along. And it's, I'm going to place it really, really close to my lash line. Just a tiny bit like that. And then taking, the, again, the first brush. I use the M14 brush. And then just lightly blending out that black. But keeping it really, really close. Two Faced uh, Better Than Sex Mascara. Four and step to makeup. I hate this stuff. This is so boring. Disrespect how you feel, but baby, I'll never go that far. Cause I know through my brows. Just gonna fluff them up a tiny bit. Right. 
And then now for lips, my Boy by Lip Liner by Doll Beauty. Just lay my lips. My camera's about to die, I'm like, quick. Take a bit of the Doll Beauty lipstick in the shade FOMO. Just a tiny bit. And then take my HMB Cosmetics lip gloss in the shade Ride or Die. Love this colour. It's amazing. And then for lashes, I'm just going to take the set from this one. These are the winged out ones I talked about before, just the ones I made myself. Well, I didn't make them myself, I just paired like two lashes together. It looks so nice. Hey guys, so I did just do my eyelashes off camera, my camera died, it's so annoying. But if you did get to the end of this video, thank you, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. But my first impressions of the Molly O'Brien brushes, they are so super, super soft. So they apply my makeup so nicely. I am absolutely obsessed with them. Honestly, they are so, so nice, so soft. I couldn't fault them at all. My makeup this time applied so, so nicely and I'm really, really impressed with the Molly O'Brien brushes. They are a bit pricey, but they're definitely worth purchasing because the quality of the brushes, just overall, really, really nice brushes and I really recommend you buying them. But if you did like this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below as well what you'd like to see next and subscribe. It really, really helped me out so, so much. Well, but for now, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.